Vince, Casey, congratulations. You guys have made it into the third round of this competition. Now it's not gonna get any easier as we send you home to recreate this iconic weapon from history. The Jian. Good luck, gents. We'll see you in four days. It's day one. I'm here in Mount Airy, Maryland, getting ready to build the Jian sword. Here we go. Guess how quick. I've decided to use ADC RV2. It's gonna give it additional toughness, more springiness. Start at the tip and work my way back. I have never made anything as long as a GN sword, so this is completely new territory. Well, that's not good. So I gotta bend. As I forge a blade, I keep having this little ghost visiting and kinking the blade. I'm gonna get it straightened. Not quite. All right, so I think I'm okay. Today was pretty good, actually. Got blade more or less profiled. And so far, it looks pretty good. I need a shower. A cold beer would not hurt. So it's day one. I'm back in Oklahoma. I'm ready to get started on this John sword. I'm gonna go prep my steel. I'm gonna try to spice it up a bit with a little Damascus. I'm doing 1084 and 15 and 20. I figured that would look cool. Low layer with a twist. Whoa, that's good. We've got this thing drawn out, and as you twist it, it cools it even faster. And the more it cools down, the harder it twists. So you don't want to fight it. When it tells you to stop, you want to stop. I don't want to risk it. If it gets too cold, you can induce stress fractures. I'm looking good. Got that twist in there, and now I've got to square it back up and draw it out. It's looking good, I think. Today's day two. Got a good night's sleep. Hopefully, I get to quench by the end of the day. Just trying to get the bevels established. I think that's pretty good. So I finished all my bevels, and I'm ready to quench. I'm trying to hurry up in here. We have thunderstorms coming. With the rain, it can cause all the oil to splatter out, and I will end up burnt. So I really need to get this done. It was nothing. So I get the blade to temperature, and I pull the blade out, and it's got a slight warp. I'm trying to correct it while the blade is still hot. Answer the fire. But we got a straight blade. I feel excited. Yes. And I know I have a good chance of winning this thing. Perfect timing. So it's the beginning of day three. Got the guard on. I've got the handle where I want it. I got to get this pommel on there. So I'm going to grab this tank down. I've got the pretty thick tail end of this tank here, and I'm trying to thread it. Oh, it's ugly. This thread is just not working. Oh, that's disappointing. So I go back to the grinder and grind it down to the next size threader. It's too thin. So I've got this dinky threaded tang here. Cut that tang right off. This might cost me 10 grand. Now that there's nothing left to thread, I've got to fit a bolt into this position. Here goes the welding. All right, we'll see how that works. Today's day four, and we're going to put the last few things together. So right now I'm just tool blacking this. I chose to do it on black for the guard. Pretty happy with it. And then I'm on to polishing and sharpening the blade. Really have to be careful now, because this is sharp. So I put the whole thing together, and I noticed that it's a little too big. We are just over three pounds. I'm shooting for under three pounds total weight. I start shrinking my pommel. I know I have too much metal. Uh, it's too heavy, it's too big. That reduced about a quarter of its weight. And now I just got to put it together. It goes nothing. Now that everything is together, it's finally done. It's day four, and I'm ready to start getting this sword together. It's looking like a sword, man. I'm going to finalize the edge. Haven't done really any double-edged swords, actually, so a little bit challenging, because now you got two blades that could cut you. So I'm taking it nice and slow, real calm and collected. The sacrifices we make for our art. So once I get everything assembled, I'm going to take this thing out here and swing it around, see what I can cut up with it. Two pounds, 10 ounces of kill-you-quick Gian sword. 
All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to Kiel Test. Now, your Jian swords look beautiful, but are they deadly? Well, to find that out, I will take your weapon and do some slashes and thrusts on this ballistic dummy. Vince, you're up first. You ready? Gabriel. I always wanted to hear Doug say it will kill, so the anticipation is just killing me. I want to see him get through the test and see what he does. All right, Vince, let's talk about your Gian sword up here. Overall, I like the aesthetics of this sword. Now, your handle construction is within scale of this blade. It's comfortable when I wrap around it. Now, your edge is razor sharp. In thrusting, it cuts out, and when you swing, you can feel the impact of this sword. Overall, sir, it will kill. Wanted to hear that. Good job. Hey, Casey, you got the stomach for this? You're next. I'm ready. Forging fire makes you nervous, excited, scared, and happy all at the same time. I'm very confident in my blade. It's just, you never know. I've seen blades break. I don't want that to happen to mine. All right, Casey, let's talk about your Gian sword here. First up, I like the lines that you have with your sword here and the Damascus pattern. I can appreciate that. And now, in cutting. It was so much fun just to be able to slice over and over and over with ease with a blade that moves. This, sir, will kill. Thank you. Bladesmiths, welcome to the strength test. Now to test the edge holding ability of your blades and the overall strength and construction, I'm gonna take each of your swords and smash them repeatedly into these heavy pots. Now, I'm not really concerned what your blades do to the pots, even though it's gonna look really cool and be a lot of fun. I wanna see what the pots are gonna do to your blades and edges. Vince, you're up first, you ready to go? Yes, sir. Jay picks up my blade and he looks excited. He's just looking forward to smashing it. But at the same time, if he survives Jay, I know it'll survive anything. Oh, Vince, I gotta tell you, it's a great blade. I mean, where I was striking is still sharp, still straight and true, but the problem is doing your pommel, your threads here didn't go very far through, so pommel broke loose. Bit of a problem. Vince, your blade has suffered a catastrophic failure after three shots on the pots. A pummel is critical to a one-handed weapon's retention, but that doesn't mean that this competition is over. Casey, these are some pretty strong terracotta pots, and you'll have to survive three pot shots to make it out of here. I feel ready. All right, Jay, you ready? If the pots can knock off the pommel, they could do anything. It all comes down to this. I've got a little bit of knots in my stomach. We'll see what happens. good. Casey, congratulations, your blade survived. Vince, unfortunately, you cannot continue testing. Please exit the forge. I'm disappointed. I think I made a hell of a blade. It was still sharp after the three terracottas, but the blade needs to be 100%. Mine was 98%, and it failed. 
congratulations. Good job, brother. Thank you. Got a hell of a fight. This is bringing me one step closer to continue to achieve my dreams, and I wouldn't change a thing. Casey, congratulations. You are the Forge and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for 10,000 big ones, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. The deed is done, and I won. Great steal and a great job on the handle, too. I've proven to myself that I can make a damn good blade. For me, that's nothing better.